Hi, and welcome back to the channel or the podcast. I am Kelsey, aka the Human Design Astrologer, on a mission to teach you astrology and human design in a practical and simple way. Why not know how to use your user manual and live your best life. Today we're going to get into the energy for June and I will be going over all the transits in June, what to look out for, what June has in store for you. I'm so excited! This summer just feels like really big in general. This summer feels like a lot of transitions, a lot of positive changes for the better. We start June off with an emotional wave in transit. So if you're not an emotional authority in human design, then you might be feeling this a little bit more intensely <laughs> because it is the channel of chaos. That sounds worse than it is. What this channel really is about is allowing yourself to enter into things because you want to experience them and not necessarily because you want a certain outcome or you're pushing for a certain outcome or you expect a certain outcome okay if you have this channel in your human design chart then you know <laughs> this energy really really well the detriment of this channel the 3536 channel is having expect expectations having expectations that aren't met can really send this wave crashing so enter into june and enter into the summer we're gonna feel this for the first week of june so enter into this new month with like this mindset and this intention of like what do i want to experience just for the sake of having the experience and maybe learning from it, gaining wisdom from it, gaining experience, right? So don't enter into things, especially don't let fear hold you back this month. It's going to be a really big theme as well as we have so much, we'll have so much in fixed signs, which I'll get into, that are going to just create a bit of conflict and challenge with one another. Uh, so don't let your fear hold you back. Don't let your mind really hold you back uh, because failure is not even real. It is something that is necessary for us to experience in order to grow and learn and evolve. There's no such thing as failure if you get back up on your feet and learn from it. This coming from a third line, a one three profile. Hi, that is my life story. So that's really what the first week of June is going to bring for a lot of us. Um, might feel chaotic emotionally, might feel a little bit foggy as well. Like you just might feel like you don't have the clear cut instantaneous connection with your authority that you normally do, especially if you're a splenic or sacral authority. Things are going to feel a little bit slowed down when it comes to making decisions a little bit foggy. So roll with that. Um, the whole month of June also will have Mars and Leo. Mars will be in Leo for about two months and Mars has been in Cancer for the last two months so this shift is going to be huge in terms of like how we're putting ourselves out there, how we're sharing our light, how we're being seen by the world um, and really how we're allowing ourselves to pursue joy and passion to its fullest based on what that looks like and what that is for you. We have Venus joining Mars in Leo on the 5th of June. I'll get into that in a second. Um, and then a big theme of this month as well is going to be the North Node conjunct Jupiter. That's going to be taking place for most of the month, um, which is really going to have us feeling like expanded in terms of the direction we're moving towards, right? A lot of us are in this transitional period right now of making major changes in our lives. And this is the time where we start to feel like, okay, it's time to make that change. It's time to move forward in this new direction. It's scary. It's uncomfortable, but... You, there might be some unknowns, but honestly, the unknown is the best place to be, especially right now, because that's where all possibilities lie and anything is possible. All potentials are available to you when you don't know what's next, right? You can create anything, which is so exciting, but it's also kind of scary to the monkey brain. <laughs> So keep that into account this month as we move forward in these changes, which is 
going to be, like I said, a major theme of June and really what the rest of the summer has in store for you based on how you're allowing yourself to make these changes in a way that's aligned with your highest potential and your highest like dream and vision and goal for yourself, even if it doesn't look like anything big at the moment, like trust that it is aligning you with something big and something greater. Okay, so trust those impulses, trust where you want to go, trust what you want to do, because it will lead you to some amazing, amazing things. Um, for the most of the month as well, this North Node Jupiter conjunction is going to be in a challenging and conflicting aspect with Pluto. It will be in a square with Pluto. Um, and Pluto is at zero degrees Aquarius. It's going to move back into Capricorn this month, but it will still be in gate 60, which is the gate of limitation. And this gate really teaches us when to conserve our energy versus when to push forward. And we might be, we might run up against small, little, seemingly big <laughs> in the moment limitations, but those limitations are teaching us again, when to conserve our energy and when to actually like push forward and fight for what we want, regardless of how things look. On the third of the month, we have a full moon in Sagittarius, which I personally, as a Sag moon, am super excited about <laughs> because this full moon in Sagittarius is really going to bring us a renewed sense of like adventure and fun and joy, um, especially as we have Sagittarius's ruler Jupiter and Taurus right now conjunct the North Node all month. This is really going to be a time of what feels good, right? What direction do you want to move? What do you want to um, explore, experience, how do you want to adventure? How do you want to bring travel or incorporate just adv adventure into your life more? So that's really what we're gonna start off, like I said, the month of June with. Um, and it will kind of come to a peak uh, with this full moon in Sagittarius on the third of the month. And it will be in gate five, which is the gate of rhythms. So we're really learning how to embrace our own rhythms, whatever that looks like for you. Uh, for me, this is showing up as like embracing, like not having a consistent um, schedule, a consistent structure with my like days and just with my routine. Like I really have embraced operating intuitively when it comes to the rhythms I'm going through on a daily basis. And I feel like this gate is really going to bring that up for a lot of us of, as like, how do you want to make changes to your routine? How do you want to like change the way that you're going about your days? Um, you know, maybe sleeping in more or going to bed earlier or like having a strict yoga practice or something that's like you want to bring this in in a way that's really going to align with you and your desires and feel good to you. Not because you see someone else doing it this way and it works for them, but really embracing like your own personal rhythms and how you want to structure your days and what you want to have your days filled with. Big message is coming through to really be aware of your not self versus self themes, like the signature feeling that your human design chart gives you. For manifestors, it's peace versus anger, right? Anger is the not self for manifesting generators. It's peace and satisfaction as the self signature feeling and frustration and anger as the not self feeling. For generators, it's frustration as a not self feeling. For reflectors, it's disappointment. For projectors, it's bitterness, right? So really having that at the forefront of your mind this month is gonna be really helpful when you like meet up against it to be like, okay, this is my warning signal, right? This is telling me that I'm doing something that I don't wanna be doing right now or I'm not operating in alignment, right? So really trust your not self signature feeling. Be familiar with what that looks like and how that shows up for you and not letting it perpetuate. You know, When you meet up against that frustration or bitterness, really being like, okay, I noticed this is happening. What did I do to get here? What did I do that's out of alignment? What did I, how did I should myself, right? How did I do something that I really didn't maybe want to do? How can I reassess and realign with my authority, right? What feels good to do right now kind of thing. Uh, so that's going to be a major theme this month to just check in when, check in when, <laughs> check in with for yourself throughout the month. 
especially if you feel this overwhelm around the third or the first week of June in general. Then on the 4th of June, we have Mercury conjunct Uranus. Uh, it will be in gate 23, which is the gate of um, assimilation, I think is what it's called. It's just about like putting things together, like piecing things together that come to you randomly, like, like a random insight of like, oh, this is actually how I wanna move forward, or this is how I wanna communicate this to this person, or this is the like how I wanna share this idea, how I wanna market myself. You know, it's kind of all of that stuff coming together, and I feel like there will be a lot of revelations after this full moon of like how you wanna move forward, a lot of insights, a lot of like just sudden mental clarity, um, and just feeling like all of a sudden your mindset has really shifted, like that is what this feels like to me. Then on the 5th of June, we have Venus moving into Leo, as I promised I would talk about. Um, immediately when Venus moves into Leo, it will be opposing Pluto. So this is going to feel like a kind of push and pull, a tug of war between our personal internal transformation that we've been growing through and our outward like relationships or finances and, and like how we're changing the structure when it comes to those things in our lives. Like a lot of us are realizing like, oh, I don't wanna be in this relationship anymore. Or, I don't wanna have these types of people in my life anymore. I don't wanna do this job anymore. Or, like I wanna start my own business kind of thing. And this is where things are gonna really come to a head and be like, all right, I'm doing it. Like <laughs> no more excuses, no more like holding myself back. You know, cancer with Venus and Mars and cancer it really kind of felt like we didn't want to really share much of ourselves or put ourselves out there. But with these planets moving into Leo, it is the time to share yourself and to put yourself out there and to really show up just as authentically as you can and show up imperfectly because no one is perfect. And I've seen so many TikTok videos lately. It's almost like a mini trend of people talking about how they have also been seeing videos saying that like do things that are cringe do things that are uncomfortable and that are like messy or like not perfect you know don't refilm something three times like post it the first time and just forget about it <laughs> that's like what i trained myself to do um when i was first creating content and now it's just like it's honestly just a habit i don't even think of it consciously anymore but i used to like film myself doing something, talking about something, um, and then I would just post it and I would forget about it. And looking back on that, like that was five, six years ago, I cannot believe I was showing up like that. Like, but at the time it trained me to show up and it, I gained confidence from it too. I gained an ability to be able to show up on camera and it just be like second nature. And I also learned how to improve my speech and improve my film skills and like it, I had learned how like so much just from showing up and this is what I was talking about in the beginning as well is like don't be scared to do something because you don't have the experience because that's literally how you create uh experience and like experience is the best teacher like that's literally how you learn to do something is by just doing it um and, and embracing that like fear that comes with it because it will come with it until it's like a habit until it's normal until it's like becomes comfortable things are always uncomfortable until they're comfortable so that's really like the biggest theme with these um venus and mars movements through leo this month is how are you showing up as yourself wherever you are right now like how are you just doing the thing and putting yourself out there and not caring how it looks because it's going to find the people that it needs to find and it's going to inspire and empower the people that it needs to inspire and empower that are watching you that you might not even know are watching you <laughs> i honestly didn't think anyone was watching me the first few years i was i was showing up but i would randomly receive dms from people who were and tell me how inspired they were by me just like showing up messy so that's the first week of june we're really going to have to face our fears feel the fear and do it anyway like just do the thing and call on that courage and bravery and unabashed just authenticity to share ourselves in new ways and trust me it will pay off if you're doing that this month <laughs> when you do that this month i should say 
Then on the 9th, we have the moon conjunct Saturn and Pisces um, right before Saturn goes retrograde. So Saturn will be entering retrograde on the 17th. About a week before that, a little over a week before that, we'll have the moon conjunct Saturn, which will really bring up like, again, this aspect of are you committed to your dreams? And if you are committed to making your dream a reality, how disciplined are you with doing what it takes to build it? That's really what I feel is a theme just of right now in general, this whole Saturn and Pisces transit for the next two years, but June especially as we have just other things going on, like I said, the North Node and Jupiter conjunction and everything in Leo, it's like now is the freaking time to build that thing that you've wanted to have, to build that dream, to be taking action towards what it is you desire. You've been like had this vision up for a while, right? Like now is the time to be doing the things that are needed in order to create it. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I feel like I'm almost a broken record at this point. Then on the 11th, we have Pluto moving back into Capricorn. So wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, we'll be getting a revisitation from Pluto for a little bit, just to make sure <laughs> that you've integrated the lesson that Pluto has given you over the last 15 years in whatever area of life you have Capricorn. Um, and then Pluto will remain in Capricorn until January of next year. So this will be uh, quite a long revisitation of Pluto's lessons to that area of your life. On that day as well, the 11th is kind of like a big day for changes. Um, we have Mercury making a trine to Pluto. Mercury... Uh, I, wait, yeah, Mercury will be in Gemini. Um, and right before it enters right before mercury enters gemini it will make a harmonious aspect to pluto so there will be maybe like sudden revelations or mindset shifts um in these areas of your life wherever you have gemini wherever you have really taurus gemini capricorn um and aquarius there might just feel like a sudden like okay i just need to shift my mindset around this and that happens by taking action kind of thing then on the 11th as well, we have uh, Venus and a challenging aspect with Jupiter. It will be squaring Jupiter. Um, Venus, as you remember, moved into Leo and it will square Jupiter in Taurus. So there might just be some conflict or challenges as it relates to like, you know, having funding for how you want to move forward towards your dream. Um, there might just be something that comes up within your financial picture or your relationships that just kind of bring up challenges when it comes to how you're moving forward in this transition, right? How you're taking that leap into your life. There might just be a little bit of like a setback or a conflict or a challenge, like I said, that comes up around that. That's almost like this little test from the universe. That's like, are you serious about doing this thing? Like, are you going to let a little setback, like keep you from pursuing your dream? That's what it feels like. Um, and challenges aren't bad. Conflict isn't bad. They ultimately lend us to growth. So squares are a good thing because they really give us this opportunity to grow and to <laughs> learn from what comes up and to take that lesson with us moving forward. And maybe also like have us change a little bit about what we're doing or how our approach and just kind of have us rethink how we're moving forward so that we can do it in a way that's easier. So that's the 11th of June. Uh, then on the 13th of June, we have the moon conjunct North Node and Jupiter and Taurus. Um, so this will just kind of bring up some emotions around how we're moving forward in this new direction or new venture. Then the next day, the moon will be conjunct Uranus. So there might be some like sudden emotional things that are brought up. It feels like a, an instant like shocking shift in our energy. Like either getting really excited about how you're moving forward, like after a period of being like, I don't know, like a period of uncertainty, right? There was uncertainty, there was fear, there was just like a whole lot of bleh around this change and this direction you want to move for move forward in almost like I don't know if this is going to work out I don't know if I have everything that it takes to do this kind of thing and then all of a sudden there's like this new uh, refreshing emotional shift around it where it's like actually 
I'm really excited that this has worked out the way that it has. I'm really excited I decided to do this despite feeling uncomfortable or uncertain. It feels like this emotional pivot and this emotional shift around this new direction you're headed. So that's exciting. Um, I'm really excited for the middle of June because it kind of feels like when things will really start to pick up and take off towards whatever this new direction that you're moving into is. And on the 17th, like I've already said, we have Saturn going retrograde, um, which I feel like will just be an internal look at how we're, how we're, bleh, I just combined discipline and committed. That feels like the, the two words of June. It's like discipline and committed. Like how disciplined and committed are you to your dream and your vision and what you want to create and how your spiritual practices are getting you there. So the retrograde transit of Saturn feels like a just internal look at those things, an internal look at okay, how am I approaching discipline and commitment in my life? And really, truly, how bad do I want this? And am I willing to do whatever it takes to make it work no matter what? Then on the 17th, we have a new moon in Gemini. It will be in a square with Neptune. So things actually might feel a little bit um, foggy on the 17th. It might feel like just maybe we aren't seeing the results that we wanted to, things aren't moving forward fast enough, we're feeling just a little bit like spacey or foggy or just unclear, like, you know, we were feeling really good and then all of a sudden it's like, do I still feel good about this? Like, it's almost like we're, we're questioning ourselves again, um, but it won't last. And especially since we have the new moon in Gemini in gate 12 in human design, which is the gate of moods, <laughs> and caution so we're almost going to be feeling like just again uncertain um and this might prompt us to make a little bit change a little bit of change to like again our tactic or our approach um but ultimately this fogginess is gonna is gonna help us um, make some much needed innovation to what we're doing or our, our plans or how we're communicating to to the people around us, how we're sharing ourselves and putting our ideas out there on the world. Um, I feel a lot of us will start to want to like write more things down, share more of our thoughts and ideas after this new moon in Gemini too. Like once this fogginess kind of lifts, it's like, oh, this is how I want to share my ideas. This is how I want to like write this book. This is how I want to like create content for social media. This is the types of like events and workshops I want to ho host for people and hold in my community kind of thing. Um, I literally wrote speaking up and sharing ideas. On the 21st of June, we have the sun moving into Cancer. We will also have the moon, Venus, and Mars conjunct in Leo the day that the sun moves into Cancer. Um, so that's going to be a really good day to share yourself, to create, to just... <laughs> Like, put yourself out there. Like, really be taking action towards what you're creating. And there's this is going to be a really healing day for a lot of us, too. If we're taking that action and we're, chained, we're doing the work to change our mindset, it's really going to heal a major part of us. On the 22nd, we have a trine, which is a harmonious aspect between Mars and Chiron. So, again action is healing if you have been you know scared to create content or make videos of what you love to talk about and like how you love to share yourself and there's just been that fear of like i don't know sh sharing showing up on camera is scary like if you take that action it will heal you and you will get over that fear by continuing to take the action and right after we enter into cancer season on the 23rd of june we have a shift in the north and south node and what gates they're in in human design so for those of you that don't know the north and south node always move backwards they're always in retrograde that's why they're moving counterclockwise and they're going to be in Aries and Libra soon and not Gemini and Sagittarius um, so just a little fun fact if you didn't know that the the nodes move backwards I talk about that in my ebook but if you don't have my ebook then you wouldn't know that but you should get my ebook because it's the best way <laughs> to learn the language of the cosmos literally 
So on the 23rd, we have the North Node moving into gate three. And we have the South Node moving into gate 50. So the South Node, and this is where they will be when the nodes move into new signs, when they move into Aries and Libra, which will be sometime in July, I believe maybe the 17th of July, but they will still be in these gates because these gates rule over both all those signs. Um, gate 50 being Scorpio and Libra and gate three being Aries and Taurus, which I also cover in my ebook. I cover all the zodiac correlations to each gate. So in my ebook, if you have my human design ebook or my gates ebook, every single gate is listed out and it has at the top right by the name of the gate, which zodiac sign it corresponds to. So anyways, little preface there, but gate three is about difficulty at the beginning. And I talked about this gate for the month of May because Jupiter was here for the whole month of May. So that really got us in this kind of, well, for most of, for most of May, um, that really kind of gave us a foreshadowing of what it's going to look like when the North node is there, because like I've been talking about this whole video, it feels like things are hard and uncomfortable when we're new at them. Difficulty at the beginning. So the North node being in gate three is going to bring this up around our new path, our new direction, this new chapter that we're all starting on, right? So don't let it deter you, don't let it get you down because this gate also connects to gate 60, which is the gate of limitation, which is the channel of mutation. The 360 gate in human design is the channel of mutation. It's also one of the format energies, which can create depression. And it comes out of the root and connects to the sacral, which the root is a pulse. It is either on or it is off. It is either time to do the thing. It is either time to conserve our energy. So that's also going to be a theme of just as a collective when it relates to, as it relates to the direction you're moving forward in North Node, right? That's aligned with your destiny. That's aligned with your purpose. That's truly aligned with your soul's path of growth and expansion. And then the South Node being in gate 50 is going to bring a release of old values that don't serve us anymore. This is maybe... This may be a time where people are ending relationships, ending friendships, um, really just putting themselves and surrounding themselves with the people that align with their values. We'll feel this the last week of June and then moving forward through um, all of July and most of August. Um, so really until August 27th, this is going to be a theme for a lot of us uh, of like, continuing to push and stay disciplined and committed to what we're doing despite the difficulty we're facing and how things how hard it is learning new things like it's not easy this is why there's that saying you can't teach an old dog new tricks because it's hard to learn new things our brain is not wired to learn new things it's it's wired to do the same thing day in day out and a lot of us are learning new things shifting our direction upending our whole lives and making all these changes and there's going to be difficulty because that but it's not it doesn't mean anything about you or about the path that you're on it's just give yourself some grace because you're doing something new and you're probably doing something that you've never done before so it's going to be hard sometimes but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing it as long as it ultimately is leading you to your signature feeling either peace or satisfaction 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 or surprise or success right as long as you're feeling that you're on the right track so trust in your authority and trust it's going to lead you to that signature feeling that it's a part of your aura to feel and experience and don't let the difficulties or the challenges or the conflicts keep you and deter you from the path that you're on. Know that you have what it takes and that it's meant for you because if it wasn't meant for you, you wouldn't even desire it in the first place. So if it's something again that you truly desire to be doing, like trust in the process, which I know is a cliche 
trust in the process i'm full of cliches y'all if you've had a reading with me like a one-on-one -on -one, you know this every one-on-one -on -one i do so many even my audio readings every reading actually that i do it's like <laughs> all of these cliche quotes come through depending on like what you need to hear at the time um because it's it's your team that's giving them to me and so <laughs> they they're uh, it's just funny i'm full of cliches because they're cliche for a reason. Uh, another theme of this month is going to be on nurturing yourself and how you're taking care of yourself despite all the challenges or the conflicts that you're facing. It's about what, what are you doing to take care of yourself and to feel good and nurture like your literal physical body. I feel the 26 will, will hold also just some really big shifts when it comes to, if like I said, if you've been taking that action and showing up in the ways that were originally scary for you, but you've just been doing it, there will be a major shift around the end of June where it feels more like a groove. Groove with it, where it's just like, I don't really care how this looks or how it sounds or what people think of it. Like, I'm just creating for the sake of pure creation. Then on the last few days of June, we have the sun making a harmonious aspect to Saturn, uh, which will also just kind of amplify these shifts around how we're taking action and, and what we're disciplined and committed to. Then on the 29th of June, we have Venus in a harmonious aspect with Chiron, Mercury in a harmonious aspect with Saturn. So big um, healing when it comes to finances and relationships, big shift around mindset, um, how you're sharing your ideas and putting yourself out there with the world. And then we will have the moon in Scorpio opposing Uranus. So this kind of feels like an emotional shift, um, like a big release happening. I feel like the end of June, the last week of June, is really about holding space for emotions that come up around what we're doing and how we've moved in this new direction and what's kind of coming up emotionally as it relates to that, like any triggers that come up as you're embracing this new version and new path for yourself, new version of yourself and new path, there's going to be a, a need to just really feel those emotions that come up and reframe things and not let it deter you from continuing to move forward and not let it mean anything that like you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. It's just you're operating on a new level now. And of course, there's going to be some like emotions that you weren't aware of, uh, like that come up to transform. It feels like too, this healing might be related to money for a lot of us. Um, and if you're really doing what you desire to be doing, and it's really fully aligned with you and your energy, and you've just faced some like uncertainty, right? And a little bit of setbacks. It's like if you still push forward through that, you're going to be rewarded at the end of June, probably financially or with a relationship, depending on where you've had Chiron in your chart. It's an Aries. So check where you have Aries in your chart. I feel like a lot of us will be rewarded for like doing the work and healing ourselves in this area of our life, like a new chapter beginning, new things coming in. Um, I'm seeing the Ace of Cups. So it really just feels like a new emotionally fulfilled chapter which is super exciting ah! i'm so excited for june like this whole summer i'm i'm just so excited about so let me know how that resonates with you in the comments come back and let me know how june goes for you and what comes up um and it's gonna be it's gonna be a lit month <laughs> i'm so excited okay it is time to do the tarot readings for each or a type so i'm gonna do manifestors first we'll just see what the month of june has in store for you as a manifester also for those of you that want to learn more about how to read charts on your own and the things in astrology and human design that it's hard to find information about like decans the degrees in astrology and the sleep chart and human design uh, cognition determination environment the variables the primary health system all that stuff and so much more i have classes on in my astro hd membership derivative astrology as well if you've seen my video <laughs> doing the whole kardashian family using a derivative astrology i have a class 
on that method and my membership that you can learn from how to do that yourself and there's so much more content in the membership so come check it out okay manifestors what do we have in store for you for the month of june um honestly it feels like y'all are feeling like on top of the world like literally the world card came out it feels like things are oof moving really fast for you all um it feels like there's some kind of i don't like to use the word block but the fact that the high priestess here is in reverse it's like that's really the only word that's coming to me um block stagnancy around your intuition there's something that you've been like asking about and wanting more clarification around that's like you're not getting a super clear answer for because there's like some ego involved there's some like limiting beliefs involved um might be something around money or relationships or both but it feels like you guys are going to get a really big chance to revisit that and really learn this lesson and shift your beliefs around this over the whole summer um, when we have Venus go retrograde in Leo. But the lovers is upside down too. Which is funny, I'm like called to the bottom of the deck. Um, and then the three of cups is underneath both of these cards. So it's like there's again there's some stagnancy here because there's like some belief that you're not being honest with yourself about so if we're not honest about something in ourselves we can't change it right we have to be honest with ourselves we have to look at things for what they are even if it's undesirable or uncomfortable in order to change it and learn it learn from it and grow from it um so it might be like I said, with a certain relationship in your life or money or both, there's just something that there needs to be like a come to Jesus moment about and like a reality check <laughs> about inside of you in your mindset. Um, and then like once you really look at that fully and like choose to clear it and shift it, it's like, oh, ah, like literally the judgment card. <laughs> like... There's just going to be some divine orchestration, like the sun coming out from behind the clouds of a thunderstorm, like where it's just like, why did I delude that from myself or hide that from myself or just make excuses for that for so long? That was ridiculous and silly and I'm so glad that I didn't let that <laughs> perpetuate because literally your whole like reality is going to change after you after you release this old belief and paradigm and step into the new one. Like literally there's gonna be a cause for celebration. <laughs> As there should be, because this feels like a really, really, really big lesson for you karmically. Um, but other than that, it feels like, like I said, you guys are on top of the world. It feels like you finally created everything that you've wanted, like wish fulfillment energy, Nine of Cups came out with the world. Um, and it feels like there, you're just really like clear about your boundaries and you're clear about holding your ground around something. Um, maybe it's around like your work or creativity. Like you're, you're really just getting clear on how to like set boundaries and uphold the boundaries you set for yourself. And even like just what those boundaries need to be. And <clears throat> there might be some throat shit <laughs> happening for y'all this month of like needing to like just have awareness around the, the parts of your life and the people that have you stepping backward a little bit into your passive energy, which is a total thing for manifestors. You know, you guys either face anger or you face a passivity of like, because there's, you guys have faced so much resistance in your life. It either uh, like brings up anger or it brings up passivity where you're just like, whatever, or you're like angry, right? So there's going to be a lot of facing that this month of like, and like reframing it. And holding your ground in this new version of you, whatever this is for you. But like I said, things feel really good. Other than that, they feel like smooth. They feel like things are moving really quickly. You got the Knight of Wands here. Um, it's like keep doing what you're doing because it's really paying off. It's really working. 
and I feel like June is really going to be a successful month for you, Manifester. So let me know how that resonated. I love you all, and I will see you in the next video. Let's see what generators have in store for the month of June. And if you want to learn more about how to read your human design chart, how to learn astrology, come join my Astro HD membership, especially if you feel like you have a kind of beginner's knowledge of both systems, but you want to learn the deeper stuff. Come join my membership. We have fun over there. And I teach a new class every month. There's like 30 classes inside already on various topics in astrology and human design. And I teach and do it every month live, which is just really fun because I get to connect with you all. So come join. Okay, generators. We got the three of cups. Oh, these cards want to come out. Three of cups. Feels like y'all are celebrating something. It feels like you're moving on from something that really had you stagnant or just like burnt out. You just weren't feeling it anymore. And you're like, I want to change this. So you're moving in a new direction. And it feels like that is going to be something that brings a cause for celebration. Like whether you're celebrating yourself for making this change or celebrating yourself for the new promotion or just it feels like there's something you let go of and that create created space for something new to come in and it's like something you really really wanted and it just feels more fulfilling it feels more satisfying it feels like um something that's gonna bring more financial success for you as well because these cards came out together it just feels like you guys are really gonna be celebrating yourself this month um so we have the hangman we have the ace of cups four of pentacles knight of swords and ten of cups oh my god literally wish fulfillment like you're moving towards it you're moving towards it maybe this is like an idea that you had or something you wanted to like some information you wanted to share or some idea you wanted to share and it's like just being really embraced by whoever you shared it with or I don't know I'm getting a lot of different this is I mean this is a general reading I'm getting a lot of different things for a lot of different generators but overall it just feels like you're getting what you asked for you're getting what you wanted because you shared yourself you share this idea you put yourself out there in a new way and it's like it's bringing in like uh, the utmost joy fulfillment and happiness for you and it's also going to bring in a lot of cash money um I feel like there's some because of this your mindset has really shifted too where it's like I didn't even think this was a possibility and now you're like oh my gosh what else is possible for me it's like it opened up your world it's like there's this new there's this whole new feeling about life like literally it feels like like the world is your oyster kind of feeling um so don't allow don't don't get caught up when old beliefs or old <clears throat> so many throat things for some of you don't allow yourself to like hold on to the past when those old thoughts or old beliefs or old parts of you like resurface don't allow them to take over um you know don't hold on to it right don't don't think that it means anything bad it's just like when we step into a new level that tends to happen um so just be aware of the tendency to want to hold on to a belief, a person, money, um, like trust in your instincts. If they're telling you to do something or let something go or pursue something or like use a certain amount of money for something, like trust that because you can always get more money and you can always meet more people. But what you can't replace is your time <laughs> and your energy, right? That maybe these things were draining from you so trust in the renewable trust in the potential possibilities that are literally endless for you when you're pursuing what you love unabashedly and authentically so that's what i have for you generators happy june all right manifesting generators what do we have for you in june oh my gosh one fell on the floor also, I've been talking about life purpose a lot lately uh, and getting a lot of questions about life purpose and things like that. I do have a life purpose class 
in my membership that walks you through how to find your life purpose looking at both your astrology and human design charts. So if you're wanting some guidance around where to look in your chart and what the different parts of that mean, come join my membership. I also have tons of other classes in there and we make learning these systems fun. So come join us. Okay, Manny Jens. It feels like you all are in a balancing act in June. Um, might be like a lot of new money has come in and you're like, whoa. It's almost like you guys really um, up leveled a lot about your life and it's like there's this instability and this just trying to find something to like, oh, the word is escaping me. Equilibrium. It's like you guys were thrown out of equilibrium because your life has changed so drastically in a short period of time and so much has like caused you to step into this new level in your life. You're like, wait, how, how do I, how do I, who am I? Like who this, who this? <laughs> like kind of thing. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Life was this one way for so long and now it's not anymore and I don't know who I am. Um, so just trust in that process and trust that like it's all coming together. A lot of swords energy is coming out for you guys. So I feel like there's like maybe a heartbreak you healed from recently. <clears throat> three of cups coming out. Maybe just something or three of, why did I say three of cups? Three of swords. Um, there's something that like you, you've been grieving. It's almost like an old version of you. It's like, again, you've stepped so quickly into this new level. Which is common for Manny Jens. We shift quickly. <laughs> We're the quickest type. Um, and it's like you have to really like grieve letting go of that person that you no longer are. Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. Um, also like just this happy ending because your wish was fulfilled. Like the card before this one is the Nine of Cups. Um, it feels like there's celebration in order as well. I said the Three of Cups even though that didn't come out. But it feels like... You guys have gotten your wish fulfillment and it's like I've made it kind of energy like I have what I've been working on creating for what feels like so long like it's finally here. Um, so don't blind yourself from all the growth that you've done. Don't blind yourself from how much you have shifted and how much that has shifted your life. Um, it feels like too there might be a, a limiting belief that comes up for you to reframe so don't ignore it right get to journaling about it reframing it um it feels like there might be some like emotional stagnancy a little bit in june where it's like if you've wanted a relationship or you've wanted to make a certain amount of money doing what you're doing it's like it just doesn't manifest in the way that you wanted it to and there's a little bit of disappointment around that, um, but trust that it's all divine and it's all coming in divine timing and just keep doing your thing and moving forward um, with this like, this belief reframe that you've done, this like work on that belief that came up um, or emotion that came up for you to work through. Just trust that you've done the work and it will pay off. Um, I'm honestly not getting to, I'm getting a lot of conflicting messages for you guys. Like it just doesn't feel like, I don't know. There might be just some confusion in June of like, why isn't this happening the way I wanted it to? But it does feel like you guys, either way, you guys are like satisfied and happy. It's just like, there's one aspect of your life that's not, <laughs> that's not working out the way you wanted it to. And it's, there's just, it's, there's causing, it's causing some confusion in this like, kind of questioning of yourself and your intuition um but again don't let it throw you off balance don't let it like rock you because it's all divine and things are coming in yeah it feels like an emotional release like something that you maybe didn't see that was under the surface of your psyche and like it's it, this an emotional this big emotional thing I feel like you guys have been feeling a lot of um, like somatic things. Yeah, you've already put in the work. Like you don't, you can, you know, <clears throat> you really don't have to wait that much longer for to reap your harvest. There's just going to be some, a big focus in June on your emotional health. Um, 
and I feel like there's something that you guys have been experiencing in your body whether it's like pain or tightness in a certain area um that's that's sending you the signals of like okay we need to work on this we need to like pay attention to this um and heal it so that's what I have for you Manny Jen let me know how that resonated with you because I feel like that was a little vague <laughs> but yeah keep me updated throughout your month and I'll see you in the next video reflectors Ooh, we got the eight of cups you guys are really working on moving forward um into a new emotional emotionally fulfilling path it feels like queen of pentacles you guys are um becoming a boss at, at your finances oh yeah ten of swords there is something big that you all released recently or will in the beginning of june that is like maybe it's like health issues maybe it's a limiting belief maybe it's like a form of income that you were like i can't wait to quit this job and then like the thing you've been building that's been like your side hustle pays off and you're like yeah i get to do the thing now like i don't know it just feels like you guys are really walking away from something and starting a new chapter um in a really emotionally fulfilling way in a way that's going to surprise you and in a way that's really going to bring in a lot more money for you too this is exciting reflectors let me know what this is for you okay what else do we Ooh, wheel of fortune and the sun oh you guys are embracing your joy but it's like in doing something that really brings you a lot more emotional fulfillment and joy and it's something you really weren't sure about like almost like how am i going to make money at this but you just started to put it out there and it like it it works <laughs> and you're like wait what whoa um i'm so excited for you guys a lot of major arcana which means that you you know there's not really any control you have over this it's 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 all divine and the timing of it is divine yeah you guys are really walking away from something major it almost feels like a betrayal of something um something that was really like plaguing you mentally you're just like really moving on from it and like sayonara like i'm doing this now <clears throat> and it's gonna maybe you guys are journaling a lot more or reading a lot more um uh, something to do with books something to do with writing it's just it's just fun like you're just like embracing fun again and like your joy and putting that at the forefront of your life and how you're making this change and it's really gonna pay off big time <clears throat> i'm like getting hoarse maybe you guys are um like so excited about this you're talking so much about it or you're like i don't know i feel like throat throat throat, throat things are a really um really common thing this month too so maybe just buying some tea that allows you to like take care of your throat better um if you've been experiencing that issues with like breathing or issues with your throat we just had like a lot of smoke here so that i feel like really affected me and i'm still like healing from that but anyways um it feels like someone might be giving you some money or helping you support yourself or helping you and move in this new direction it feels like you're gonna have a lot of support where there was once like betrayal and heartbreak and like grief um you're moving into a time of having a lot of support with what you're doing and it's because you didn't settle it's because you allowed yourself <clears throat> to move in an unknown and fearful direction just so that you could create something better for yourself a better life better financial picture more fulfillment and joy in your career um, in your relationships it's like because you chose to move on from this you're being um rewarded maybe five is a significant number for you or six because we have two fives here um eight lots of success with this new thing so trust in the process i love you reflectors happy june and i'll see you in the next video projectors let's see what june has in store for you what the cards have to say about your june the guru which is the hair fent and the modern deck um you might have some taurus in your chart and this time is really having you get clear on that and how you want to teach i feel like you're meant to teach something to 
somebody, whether it's like a big audience or like teach from your wisdom one-on-one. -on -one. This is obviously going to depend on your chart, your incarnation cross, um, your profile, your authority. Um, and if you want to learn more about how to read your chart and look at your life purpose based on your human design and astrology charts, I have a class on that in my Astro HD membership. So come join the membership, come learn with us. So we make it fun and easy. Um, yeah, it feels like you all are really moving forward into emotional fulfillment. Like there was some, some belief, some thing in your life that really had to die. And you are like sitting here like wondering which way to move forward. And that way is really being clearly presented to you in June. Um, it feels like you're just choosing to see something from a different perspective and like really letting that old belief die um, because something new is on the horizon. Um, with the Ten of Swords coming out, I feel like it's a belief. It's a mindset shift. It's some, some way you've been talking to yourself, some, some, some mental hang up that's been holding you back from moving forward in like what you want to do. It's like, you're no longer going to be stalled from it. Like there's going to be this realization of like, oh, I could just do this or like, like it's not as hard as I was making it seem in my head kind of thing. Um, maybe some of you guys have really been uh, disciplined with a meditation practice and it's paying off. Like you're getting a lot of guidance there. And it's helping you to see from this new perspective. It's helping you to have a just mindset shift around this direction that you're headed. Um, it feels like you might be taking like small steps. You might not be moving as quick as you want or like the expectation of your of what you have for yourself in this thing. It's not like happening the way that you want it to, but that doesn't mean you're going to allow that to deter you from doing it at all. It's like you're still taking the steps. You're still doing the things. It's just a little bit of a more slow process than you'd like, but it is going to really lead you to some amazing places and really support you in feeling emotionally fulfilled and like successful. Like you're really stepping into this time of like it, like receiving the success for what you've been doing. Um, be because again, you didn't like you, you didn't let these beliefs, you didn't let this mindset hold you back. You didn't let it mean anything about you. You still continue to do the things and move forward. And like you're being, you're being <laughs> well rewarded for that. Um, the message moving forward is like, just keep holding your ground. Um, keep doing the things that you need to do. Um, again, projectors, I feel like there's like, there's such confusion around how to use your strategy as a projector. Like don't, you're not, you're not going to get invitations if you're just sitting around, not sharing yourself with the world. Like no one's going to recognize you because you're, you're not being seen. So put yourself out there in the ways that you want to, right? In the ways that your intuition is calling you to, and the ways that maybe other people have like invited you to, um, in the past or asked if you, you know, have you ever thought about doing this? Have you ever thought about sharing your, your, your content here or whatever it is that you're, you're creating and you're good at like you got to be sharing yourself to be seen and then that recognition and those invitations will come in um but don't just think that they're gonna come in by you just sitting around doing nothing like that's not a thing you <laughs> trust in your authority when it tells you to do something when it gives you an an, an idea to do something and, and like create something and share it somewhere specific or not specific or just like i want to put this on instagram like trust that and just do it um because that's how you're gonna receive ultimately your success um, and how you're going to receive recognition and invitations around what you want to do. So keep, keep firm in how you're creating, what you're doing, how you're putting yourself out there, trust in the process. Um, you got to have a little bit of this like full mindset as well of like not expecting yourself to be perfect or do it perfectly in the way that other people, you know, you may see other people doing it. Like this is your journey. So embrace 
your messiness and your imperfection right now and keep doing what you're doing or or listen to those intuitive hits to do the thing and just keep up with it and putting yourself out there in that way because you will build perfection confidence and success at it so that's what june is about for you projectors i hope you have a wonderful month i love you and i'll see you in the next video